Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well and in these troubling times, staying safe and clean, I guess. Washing your hands. And welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is an interesting video. It's a general football news video that affects Chelsea Football Club and indeed the whole entire world of football and of course the world generally, but for the sake of this video being a football channel we are talking about football so of course you all know of the global health scare going on at the moment and with that has come some radical changes with football the Premier League has announced this morning that they will suspend all Premier League matches until early April at the very least or certainly the soonest they will commence football again to be honest it's likely to extend and who knows what else is going to happen this has happened in Italy uh, Spain, the Champions League has been suspended, uh, all the football leagues been suspended as well, as well as women's football and academy youth football in England. Everything is quite rightly taking serious precautions. So I'm going to talk about the ramifications of this for Chelsea Football Club and football in general in England. Looking forward, to, well, towards the end of the season, English football hasn't seen anything like this maybe ever. Certainly not in like the last 70, 80 years or something. So it's a very strange time, I guess. Obviously concerning, but you have to sort of back the World Health Organization and hope that everyone can have things sorted out in within maybe seven months or however long these things take to sort out. But like I said, I wanna talk about the footballing ramifications of this situation. But before we get into this, I wanna ask you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so, please do sub. And why not like the video to support your brother? Follow me on the socials. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, man. So like I said, the Premier League have cancelled, well, suspended Premier League matches moving forwards. Um, okay. When there's a global health scare going on like this, I get it. I understand. It's the right thing to do. I've been calling out for it myself. Loads of people have. Obviously, everyone's got their individual selfish sides. And like, man, there's no football, like what are we supposed to do? We can't, we can't we watch football. But to be honest, I've watched a couple of these Champions League games and a couple of Serie A games in an empty stadium. And even if they're played behind closed doors, these football matches, it's a soulless affair. Even as a television spectacle, it's got n nothing behind it. It's an empty, I just, it, it's so peculiar. It just shows you how valuable fans are, right? Because I've watched these matches They've got the elite players on, they're all concentrated, they're all playing the same combinations, the same football, the same everything, but yet I can't take it in, I can't appreciate it. It's like when you watch a football match, you're watching the atmosphere, sure you appreciate a good goal, but you appreciate it more because you know everyone's experiencing it, and it's almost like this Buddhist oneness that you need, this connectivity to like, understand football. Man, I just went super hippie there. It's basically really important. Football cannot survive as a spectacle without fans in the stadium. Whether that's, well, obviously there'll be no spectacle live, but it can't survive as a TV spectacle either. It just can't. So no football whatsoever. Now this could probably be for months. Now people are talking about the Euros being suspended as well. England's next game, they're friendly, that's been cancelled as well against Italy I think it is and as things stand everything has stopped players are going into like isolation no one's meeting up no one's training there's just meetings and to be honest that's probably the right thing to do but what does this mean for the Premier League and the Champions League well from a Chelsea perspective if it's, it's not the biggest loss about the Champions League because Chelsea are 3-0 down going into the second leg away at Bayern Munich. So it's not like Chelsea were in a position of power in the Champions League. In another situation, in other, se in other seasons rather, I probably would have been really frustrated and upset if the Champions League does indeed stop. Cancelled. But what about everything else? I mean, let's talk about the Premier League then and the ramifications of what's going on right now because People have been talking about for a while now how there's no guarantee if the league has to be cancelled, if there's no time to do these matches before the next season, that this season has to be void. Apparently, that's actually a possibility. So what does that mean? I mean, first and foremost, Liverpool will be absolutely livid. They've had an absolutely crazy season winning so many games sure they've taken a turn recently getting knocked out of the champions league and the fa cup by chelsea but they are premier league champions so where does that leave it does, does the fa does the premier league do they have to just give them the trophy even though technically they haven't officially won it 
because they're like two wins or one win away. If, if the fixtures happened this weekend, they could have beaten Everton and won the Premier League trophy. That's how close they are. So I kind of understand both arguments of just giving them the Premier League trophy, giving them the title. They, you know, it's them, but it's not even like the second place is 10 points behind. They're so far ahead that people paid out Liverpool winning the league in November. Bookmakers paid out in November, Liverpool winning the league. So I can understand them just keep being given the title. But at the same time, if you want to do it officially, if you want to do it by the book, then technically maybe they shouldn't have it. Italy are proposing an idea of doing a playoffs. Now this is interesting. And that was like, you know, top three, top four. Imagine if the Premier League, <laughs> this would be so unfair, obviously they wouldn't do this. But imagine if they did a playoff in the Premier League with one to fourth and Chelsea won the playoffs and won the Premier League under Frank Lampard. I know this is a very situ serious situation and I'm being a bit silly here, um, but just imagine. Sadly, I don't think they're going to implement the playoffs and Chelsea aren't going to win the Premier League this season. I'm just, you know... I don't really know what I'm doing. So there could be serious negative ramifications for Liverpool Football Club in terms of winning the title. Already eight things for them were looking pretty dire. It was going to look like they'll lift the Premier League trophy in an empty stadium with how things are going regardless. But there are people saying potentially they might not, it might not be as easy as just giving them the Premier League trophy at this point. Teams at the bottom of the table will be very, very happy though because it means they probably won't get relegated, especially how tight the relegation battle is down there. Teams like Aston Villa will be very, very pleased indeed if everything was kept as the status quo. And of course, there's the top four. As things stand, Chelsea are in fourth place, guaranteed Champions League place. Obviously, it's been speculated or rumoured that fifth, well, as things stand, and fifth is a Champions League space, but that's until uh, Manchester City hear back from UEFA and the, the Court of Arbitration of Sport. If they do an appeal, or I think they can do something that triggers an extension regardless. So as things stand, they could go into the Champions League next season. You'll have to look into it yourselves. But as things stand, the only real dead cert is fourth place. And Chelsea remain in fourth place in a Champions League spot. And even if you say that's void because the season is void, what do you do? Do you look back to last season? Well, Chelsea were in third place last season. So everything that you'd say if the Premier League does become void this season is Chelsea are in a Champions League space. So in a desperate, sad time, there's a sort of silver lining in the shape of sports for fandom but you know like i said we don't know what's going to happen yet personally what i can see happening is the european championships being cancelled this summer and being pushed to next summer and the same amount of time being utilized to finish the premier league fixtures behind closed doors if needs be that would probably be the most logical and rational thing to do i think at this point um would the FA do it? I'm not sure to be honest. But if you were looking at it like a rational human being, you would say, okay, cancel the Euros, utilize that time to finish up the European leagues that have been suspended, such as Syria, La Liga, and the Premier League as things stand. It's a weird one, man. I've never experienced anything near like this in my lifetime. I'm 30 years old. I'm actually 31 in a few days. That's sad. One sad thing after another. We'll have to see what happens. Um, obviously, Frank Lampard had, was due to have a press conference today. That was called off before the Premier League was suspended. So we'll have to see. It'll be interesting when we first hear from Frank Lampard again, or generally hear back from Coburn. When are the players going to get together again? When are they safe to come out of isolation? When are they going to start training? Are we getting any kind of idea of what's going on here? I mean, obviously the Champions League games have been suspended as well, so fixture congestion is going to really build up regardless. Obviously Chelsea have an FA Cup game against Leicester away as well. Where's that going to land in this mush of mental madness? Mush of mental madness. The alliteration has come out again. Anyway, crazy, crazy, crazy. I want to get your thoughts and opinions on this situation. What do you think should happen or what do you think is going to happen perhaps you've read something somewhere that you want to say or cite get down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on what is happening and what you think should happen regarding the premier league the fa Cup, champions league and indeed the euros in the summer because it's all relevant at this point and it's all very very serious as you can tell I was going to say, from what's happened, I actually think England are behind. They should have done this a few days ago, a week ago, whatever. So get down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts and opinions on this 
problem. Also, if you like my content, go check out my other less uh, sincere videos or sombre videos. Please do subscribe to Football Therapy, you know, for me, your support, why not? You might enjoy it if you like Chelsea Football Club and football, I do one to two videos a day, although I have the sneaking suspicion that that's about to slow down. So why not subscribe anyway, and make sure you hit that bell notifications icon, and if you've enjoyed the content, like the video, follow me on social media as well, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. But yeah, that's it guys. <laughs> Swing by football therapy. Hopefully I'll do a video tomorrow. I was about to say enjoy the football and I'll see you later, which of course is my usual sign off, but there is no football. So enjoy the other things you do. Films, video games, cooking, hanging out with your family, fitness, whatever. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.